All right, hey everybody, welcome to Rector's Roost. I know I haven't done one of these in a really long time. I'm coming to you from the student lounge, recently revamped with some of my friends here, Deacon Grant, Father Luke, some students. It's good times here. You pan around, go ahead and show everybody. Sister Bridget over there is hanging something on the wall. Very good. So real quick, I'm wearing right here, what you see I'm wearing here is our softball jersey. Our softball game is tonight. Our first one is at 6.30 at Tom Brown Park. I believe it's field number three. We need women, so if you're a woman who can Come out there, you don't even have to be good. Don't worry about it. We, we need some more women or we're gonna lose points or have an extra out or something like that. So we definitely need that, need some help. Uh, big thing I wanna promote real quick, religious ed. I'm gonna go through these really quickly. We have a lot of religious education. If you have kids that need to get sacramental prep, you need to sign up, you need to sign up now. It's starting very soon, guancocathedral.com. Uh, we also have more communities. I've been talking about this for two years. I'm psyched, we're finally gonna, you're gonna be hearing about it, not this weekend, but the next. I'm gonna be doing a little quick presentation before mass, there's gonna be some cards. We're gonna have the opportunity for all of you to sign up if you'd like, it's completely voluntary. Uh, where you live, do you wanna be in one of these groups? What kind of group do you wanna be in? We're gonna start these little small community groups. They're gonna be scattered all over Tallahassee. They're gonna meet once a month, different levels of participation. It's gonna be really cool. I'll explain more about it. But I've been talking about it, I know for two years, and it's just taken longer than I expected to get it off the ground, but we're doing it next weekend, uh, weekend of the 8th, 9th. So really excited about that. Young adults, we have a great young professional group. It's meeting next Thursday. That day is the 5th. Thank you, Megan, the 5th. We will meet at seven o'clock. We're gonna have adoration, and then we're gonna go to the rectory. We're gonna have some refreshments. I need you to RSVP. That's also on cocathedral.com. Let us know you're coming, just so we know how much food and snacks and so on to buy. Um, if, invite your friends invite whoever you want but we'll start with adoration again 7 p.m some music confessions available we'll move to the rectory for some social time and hanging out um you don't have to come to the whole thing you can come later if you can't make it until seven that's fine as well or eight whenever we get done with adoration so that's good to go uh, i have you probably heard some rumors about some land development stuff i've been working on things are moving along i hope i can share some things soon i don't have any real specifics yet but just so you know that i am working on our parking issues I'm working on maybe building a student center one day, bathrooms in the church, all these things. We are working on it. We got a, a great team. Um, got attorneys, got developers, got people from the diocese, all kinds of people looking at this. And I hopefully I'll have some good stuff to report to you soon. Bible study, mystery of the Bible, unlocking the mysteries of the Bible. Doesn't that sound awesome? Paul is Bible study that's going to be meeting. Please sign up for that. Men's group, working on a men's group um, also, so stay tuned for that kind of news as well. And lastly, adios to Grant. Deacon Grant has been here since uh, June. He's done a fantastic job. He went away for 30 days for a retreat, got really holy and prayed for seven hours a day. He did a lot of fishing, came back to us, and now he's getting ready to go back to seminary. So he's going to be leaving the day after Labor Day. So pray for him, and he'll be ordained hopefully uh, next year at the end of May. And then, of course, we have a new seminary in Heath who is not here right now, um, but he will be around. You're going to see Heath a lot. You probably saw him in the bulletin. Last but not least, Father Luke. Hey, everybody. Um, my name is Father Luke. I am the <laughs> priest here. And uh, we've been working on the CSU Olympics. Maybe you've heard about this. Uh, once a month, we do something called Sunday Fun Day. And this upcoming week, we have the Olympics. So very excited we have olympic gold medals that we actually ordered on ebay uh commemorative but they're from uh not france because those were a little more expensive but we got the rio de janeiro 2016 ones those were in our price range so i'm very excited about that and then um finally we're going to do opening ceremonies and so we're very excited about that we're going to reenact the last supper and uh we call it Catholic Mass, so we're actually going to be doing that, and then the Steelers Olympics will follow uh, with hot dogs and stuff, so very excited, that's kind of what we're doing uh, this upcoming week at Campus Ministry, amongst other things, so thanks for letting me share about that. That's great, and that's the weekend of the 8th, 9th, too? That's right, yeah. Okay, very good. That's for students, by the way, we Labor. do get some people that yeah, want to participate, students only. Students a, student only. thing. Labor Day, office is closed, Labor Day Mass at 9 a.m., or 9 a.m., and that's just one Mass for the day, and lastly, you see me holding this prayer request, I, I really do look at these and take these seriously they put them in an envelope and i bring them to the chapel at the house and i pray with them and i really look at them over so if you have a prayer request don't think they just go they just disappear into the land of the internet i really do uh, get them eventually and i pray with them and pray for you and whatever your requests are we get requests from all over the country and world and some of them frankly are a little interesting 
but I pray for them nonetheless, you know, whatever. It's in God's hands, right? So anyway, thank you for listening. Thanks for your patience, and we'll be seeing you soon. God bless.